Hi, I'm Julie. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make cookies today. So first things first, um, I like to wear an apron because I always get flour on me and I, if you have longer hair, just tie it up. Um, so for this recipe, you're gonna be needing butter, there's eggs in here, uh, baking soda, salt, vanilla, flour, white sugar, and brown sugar. So I'm going to pop that butter in the microwave and then get everything pre-measured and then I'll show you how to mix it together. So first you're going to preheat your oven to 350 and then we're going to mix the stuff together. So first you cream your butter, which I have melted. Some people don't like to do that, but I think that it's fine. And then we're going to put the brown sugar and the white sugar, which I just have combined together in here. And then I'll we'll mix that together. So once that's creamed together, I'll add the eggs. Also add the vanilla. And then we'll mix that together as well. As that's getting together, I have a salt and baking soda mixture. So I'm just gonna add that in. out the flour with a knife making sure it's all level. Oops, that work. There we go. So once it starts to look like this, it's about done. So we can take it out and then this calls for about it's one cup of chocolate chips, but I always just kind of add in as much chocolate chips as I want it to be. <laughs> and I've also experimented a lot. I have lots of different kinds of chocolate chips. We have white chocolate chips and butterscotch and dark chocolate and milk chocolate. So this time I was going to do butterscotch and dark chocolate. Alright, and I like to stir them in by hand, so... It doesn't crush the chocolate chips in the mix in the mixer. Sometimes it leaves like shrieks or streaks of chocolate on the side and it just makes it harder to clean too. So this is how I found it easiest. And I'll just spoon a couple of these on here. So you don't have to roll them out. Lots of people like to use a little cookie scoop too, but I don't have one because I don't feel like I need one, but yeah. Once the cookies are all spooned up and ready to go in the oven, and the oven is preheated to 350, we'll just throw them in. And something that I always like to do is these cookies need to bake for 12 minutes, but I'll just bake them for 6 minutes and then flip shelves and then bake them for 6 more minutes. Alright, so by this time, the cookies are ready to come out of the oven. And some of them will look puffy, but they will go down once they've been out of the oven and sitting for a little bit. You can also see it on some of them that they're like golden brown on the top. You can just see that they're perfectly cooked. But we want to transfer them to cooling racks right away because we don't want them to keep cooking because the pans are still 350 degrees. So we're going to do that with our whole pan. And then I will show the finished product. Thanks for watching.